Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's vlog. We are in Long Island today, Rockville Center, New York, at Hempstead Lake State Park. Doing a bit of a gravel slash road ride today on my Wabi Thunder. So not much has changed on it. I'm still running the Continental Grand Prix Four Season tires in 32 millimeter width. These are my favorite tires for this bike so far. They're good on the road. Today I'll be testing them out and gravel. I think I've got 55 PSI in both of them. So not as nice as a 38 or 40 millimeter tire, but if these tires can hold up to this gravel, I'll be satisfied. Cantilever brakes, they're doing okay so far. Like I said, not sure if I'm gonna change them back to the V brakes. Nice big bar bag. I like this bar bag, Altitude Brands. Nice, sleek, and it fits a lot. Lead out saddle bag in the back. Just got some spare tubes in there. Why not? I like that sleek saddle bag. SKS race blade fender in the front. SKS S board fender in the rear. Don't need that little fender right there, but I've got it anyway. And today we're on 4419 for the easy gear. It is about 50 degrees today, the perfect weather for that fall cycling. The leaves are sort of starting to change. I'm starting to see some leaf change. I'm starting to see some leaf change in there, if you know, foliage is what they call it. Anyway, let's get going. Not a lot of gravel over here, but we'll get there. Careful with the leaves. Oh, look, they're starting to change. Yeah, I gotta be really careful with these leaves. Almost ate the ground. So far, not that much gravel, just some bumpy, bumpy road full of leaves. Get some gravel. I'm gonna test out these 32 millimeter tires. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, jeez. When it gets rocky, that's when it gets tough with these tires. Oh, jeez. I just rode through some sand. I felt the front tire lose traction. It was a bit scary. Overall, not bad. Do have to pick your lines with the narrower tires, but definitely doable. Wow, look how beautiful that is. gravel over here. Wow. 
I wish I lived in Rockville Center, I'm telling you. This is like the most luxurious gravel path that I've ever seen. And I really haven't ridden much gravel, but this must be new. Wow. This is really nice, really nice. I'm glad I decided to come here and not Massapequa Trail. I do want to go to Massapequa Trail as well, but it's a bit further out and we're in Rockville Center for a few days. I mean, you could even do this on a road bike with 28 millimeter tires. Oh, all right. We did a loop. All right, this is gonna be tricky on a one gear, no fear. It's actually fine. Whoa. So again, I'm going to mention that the geometry of the Wabi Thunders, Wabi Classics, pretty aggressive. So taking tight turns like that at slow speeds is pretty easy just because it turns easily. It's not super laxed. All right, basically went in a circle. Now I want to go this way. I don't see anything that says bicycles. It's a bridle path. I don't know what a bridle path is. There we go. 32 mil road tires, let's do it. Pick up speed. Now this gravel does not feel man-made. It's still pretty tame but it feels a bit, actually it looks a bit man-made right now, but it's definitely not brand new like the gravel we were just on. Nonetheless, pretty fun. This is single track. I think. Almost got caught in sand. It is leg day. Uh, uh, we did it. We made it. We made it. One thing that's definitely challenging about a single speed gravel bike is you hit these technical parts. The path goes straight up almost, not straight up, but you have an incline. There's sand, so you're working to keep the bike going because you don't have any gears. So you're just standing up pedaling as hard as you can. And then you hit a bunch of sand. So your front wheel starts to squirm around. So you're working to try to keep the bike upright, keep the momentum. And I guess keeping it upright would mean that you don't want to hit sand and slide out. Also riding on 32 millimeter road tires probably doesn't help, but it does make it a lot of fun. Trail supposed to go that way? We're supposed to go this way. Right. We'll go back up and try to, I think the trail is still that way. It's not ruined over there. We'll give it a shot. All right, there we go. This part of the trail is not flooded yet. Oh, this is sandy. Sandy. 
almost had to put my foot down. Yeah, this is, oh, this is tough. And up ahead, the trail disappears. We're gonna try to go this way. Oh. And we made it. Kind of insane, we made it. And we're right back to a similar situation where the trees are all down. Let's just keep trying to go through though. So it's like cyclocross. You have to dismount and walk sometimes. So the good thing is with this bike, no derailers to go out of, out of whack. No disc brakes to get bent. Pure steel goodness. Need bigger tires to go through sand. Actually, I think you need a fat bike to go through sand. In 38s or 40s, you need like enormous tires to go through sand. Oh, whatever. It's okay. It's actually really nice. Right here. I'm into it. Oh, roots are sneaking up on me. Stick wanted to come along for the ride. Wabi Thunder Gravel Ride, Rockville Center, Hempstead Lake Park, Rockville Center, New York on Long Island. So the bike held up very well, very, very, very well. I didn't really get a lot of fork shutter from the cantilever brakes. I got a little bit if I pulled the brakes hard, ducks were distracting me over there. Making a bunch of noise over there, those two or three. If I pulled the brakes really hard, the front brakes, I could see the front wheel start to jump back and forth, but overall, not too bad. Still think I might put the V brakes back on, at least in the front, just to get more power, but they did pretty well. They're good enough. All right, gonna end the vlog right here. Just finished up the ride, which is getting some foliage footage and just riding on some tame gravel just to have some cool down. The ride by the numbers is 11.4 miles, 209 feet of climbing, not a lot of climbing. One hour, 47 minutes move time and average miles per hour, 9.5, which is actually not bad. Maximum speed, 17.8 miles per hour. So pretty good, pretty good. Overall, do like it. Oh, look at this. Minimum temperature, 42, maximum 56. It's getting cool outside, but I like this weather. Anyway, gonna go into town, get some coffee, get some lunch. As always, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you next time. Ride safe. Bye.